Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am Mad Capper and this is another Raid Shadow Legends video and uh, we got to talk a little bit about Lysandra. I'm pretty sure all of you know by now, but if you have not, if you've for some reason lost your phone or you're in the middle of the middle of war and you decide, you know what, I can either log in and do my turns or, or I can watch Mad Capper's video and you chose the video, here's the deal. There is a tournament going on that is worth taking a look at. And it is um, probably dubbed Whale Wars 3.0, World Whale Wars 3. The reason why we say that is because in previous times you go to the tournament and you go to the global leaderboard and at the top of the global leaderboard, there is one of the most sought after champions in the game. There's been quite a few different iterations, but uh, what was there? I think there was a Valkyrie, a Martyr, uh, a skull crusher a tayrell i feel like there's one i might be missing there but they were all part of the number one so if you were the number one tournament player in all of raid you'd win that and the rest of people would get a, a a lego book and a and a handshake and of course all the gear they grinded or all the champions they pulled or whatever the tournament is but this tournament which is a champion leveling tournament so you're looking at probably spending money on brews if you're whaling out you're probably looking at just getting champions so you're probably still pulling keep in mind the events are still going on so you still have events where you can you can gain um you can gain for artifact and summon rush and if you haven't completed the champion training event which i have pulled absolutely sweet f i got a gallic no i got a uh, galcook gal where the hell that guy is uh for those of you who are wondering and may have noticed my name as a meme is my alt account it is my second alt account i have two accounts other than my main i have one i'm playing that's uh it's a really kind of a it's really good i'm actually it's over to the side here it's doing its free turns right now it's uh 15 auto turns i just finished them on here and i'm here for a reason and the reason why i wanted to be on my alt account instead of my main account is to talk about this tournament. And this tournament is actually free to play friendly. And the reason why I say that is the reason why I'm on this account. And I know it sounds crazy. You're thinking, Capper, look, it's a free, it's a, it's a chance to win something amazing. How could it be possibly be a free to play account? How could it possibly be free to play friendly? I'll tell you why. First of all, my main account, which I've been grinding also to the side here, I have two different phones, I have a work phone and a personal phone. Don't mean me, don't don't judge me. I have two phones, it's not my problem. It's not my fault I have two phones. It's, it's the world's fault for giving me two phones. Anyway, uh, it, I'm in 48th place or 39th place or something. I just leveled up uh, a six star. I've been leveling up food for the last several hours. I had to work, so I'm a little bit behind the ball, but I'm like 48th in the tournament. I'm not gonna win the top one in my group. Is already 10k but here i am on my alt account which has one six star it is an absolute baby account it is i just started it it's level 44 uh it's not even it's at like 45 days i i play it just enough to get his daily turns and here we are where the top player has 2596 points now if you're if you are a free-to-play player that is achievable now, I'm not saying it's easy. I'm not saying it's 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 immediately accessible. And certainly these side points are not free to play friendly. I don't think uh, it's reasonable to expect a free to play player unless they were just happened to be getting ready for an event like this by accident. Uh, I don't think it's reasonable to believe a free to play player can get to the 25,000 uh, or even probably anything more than between the five and 10,000. But you do have a chance like uh, there first of all the rewards are all the way down to 25 i'm already thick of the war rewards and i've only been doing my uh my my quests i have not done any extra farming on this i did my 15 uh auto turns i just finished them i did my three times the boss champion i used my 50 energy um i haven't level i haven't re uh, leveled anyone in this so that's just from that 341 i'm in sixth i have a chance to get six star relentless piece um four of them so i have a chance for 90 gems 100 gems the epic epic six star and of course lissandra at 25 96. I, can i catch uh alex i don't know if i can but what i do know is 
um, this thing is tiered and you are placed in tournament groups based on your level. And that's why this is free to play friendly. This is why there's an opportunity. I'm not saying a, a, a positive, but there's an opportunity to win here. And if you look at, if you look at the global leaderboard, and this is what I really like. First of all, every group, although the groups are bigger, right? Usually I think it's 70 players per group here. I think it's 250 if I recall. Yeah. So there's 250 players per group. Uh, and you got to think some of those are going to be accounts that they played a week and then said, screw it. Uh, some people don't play every day. So, you know, you see the people that are actually moving up and down on this board. And, and then you've kind of got a cutoff here. I'm actually not really in the cutoff. I would say kind of this area. But I'm starting to get there. And I have an opportunity to win that Lysandra with a 45. If we were to move over to my, my uh, alternate account that's at level 57, I believe I am now. Uh, and I have a full tiered team that's been through the full masteries. I've actually leveled up a, a couple of six stars. I right before they announced this tournament, even before we knew what the what the rewards were, I six starred my uh, Nezana, and I held off on my Gorgorab, and so I was able to get my Gorgorab under points, but not my Nezana. A little bit pissed about that, but whatever. I got two champions. I'm leveling them up to six star uh, right now. Actually, it's yelling at me because. It wants more energy. Um, sorry about that. So that's pretty accessible. Now, if the whales are complaining, like 250 versus the whole tournament, I think that's a huge, huge bonus uh, for Plarium to do this sort of thing, to, to give up a player like Lissandra as a, as a reward in each group. It is going to make the uh, casual player, uh, the casual pay player like me, um a pay to play player i like calling them not a pay to win not a whale but i do i do spend money on the game and i'm willing to make those choices when it makes sense for me as part of my budget i probably can't win and it's because i've like i finished first in the dragon tournament because i was 100 percent something i wanted to spend my energy i spent a lot of my gems on it to make sure i had the energy i spent a lot of energy on it I got a lot of good gear that I needed in order to fine tune my clan boss to get ready and prepared for the unkillable change. And uh, the net result is I didn't have a lot of energy to spend and I missed out on buying the energy, uh, the three energy ones that were recent. So uh, I probably not gonna win on that. Even if I did, I probably wouldn't go hard enough because I think if if someone can do 10K a day on, uh, on, on doing it and I think that's the one that's gonna lose but it's not really a lose because I will probably make 25,000 on my main account in a week and two days and so I will get a five-star chicken I will get a tome a tome a void shard 50 gems but that's all good except for the rare tome I hate them uh, that's all good uh, good rewards that I'll probably hit but this guy here I have a chance and uh, if we go to the global leaderboard in case the, the global leaders were a little bit pissed these rewards to me are even more um epic for lack of a better term look if you're first place you don't get lissandra but do you really want lissandra you're a whale you probably already have him a her uh you get 10 legendary skill tomes do you understand what i would do to win 10 legendary skill tomes i might murder a human being actually i wouldn't youtube i'm just kidding i would never i couldn't i don't even like hunting i mean I, I i have but i didn't like it i didn't well i mean i enjoyed it but i didn't i didn't feel good about take well who am i kidding i didn't kill anyone uh, or anything uh, the guy i was with he shot a deer and the uh jerky and sausage that i got to take home after they after they took it to the butcher etc cetera, etc cetera, was amazing anyway i digress i get off on a tangent the point is uh 10 legendary skill tones for winning first place that's still going to be worth these guys wailing out and i feel like they're going and you see it 44 one of the gods and legends boys uh hasa is absolutely going for it uh look he's fighting against his own clan mate uh and and there's you know t swift he's he's artizi on um on twitch and you got verdi who's also a big twitch guy uh you've got you've got some boys here that are really going for it and it's really and, and it's that that tells you that I didn't see too many of these guys in the previous ones going for all the uh, the player the um, the players the uh, the champions. But now that we've got Lego skill tomes, you got ten, you got five, you got two, and then two and one. That should I, I think that should be five 
and five or ten and five just because epics are not quite as as coveted as legendary but whatever the point being is look that's two void shards you got one void shard 100 gems 100 gems 100 gems so top 10 so that's uh, this is this is gonna be interesting it's gonna be really worth it and this is gonna now that we know that this is in play i don't know how often they're gonna do it but now that we know that there's an opportunity and it's in play i think we're gonna start being a lot more careful about how we level we're gonna wait to level four uh tournaments and events because it seems like they're becoming more and more relevant and useful again. There's a little lull. They were good. And then there's a little lull where the rewards are kind of crap. But now I, I, I think this is a, a positive direction. I think this is something really good for the uh, for the whaling community that's going to be able to get these high-end rewards. And uh, it's going to be really good for inside tournament brackets no matter what skill level you are. Because 2596, for example, is a perfectly attainable score. He's not that far ahead when you really look at it. I haven't really done anything spectacular. Now, I don't know if my particular level, if if I'm gonna stay free to play, uh, I don't know if I can if I can reach it. But I but I have an opportunity. I have a chance, and I'm probably gonna get something out of it. So I mean, I have some brews. I could probably get some of these guys going. You know, I could probably take a, a little thing. Look at this. This is Galkit. That was my sacred shard for completing that month long event. This is Galkit. Galkit, yeah. No, yeah. Has a five turn cooldown bomb. Hits randomly hits people and hits less every time. That's great. That's a great ability. I want an ability that ramps down uh, and then decrease defense. That is actually not a bad one, although it's 25% chance. You can get it up to what 50% uh 50% chance on two hit. That's not bad. Uh, but these are all, this is a decent this is a decent opportunity a decent event I'm gonna see what I can do to get some of these champions going maybe I'll be able to get a champion up to another second six star I don't you know probably skull crusher uh, would be the or a, a pocket theory probably up to six star maybe get excruciator up to five star we'll see but uh, you know I also have my Bellower that I'm starting to work on so I do have opportunities I do have options and I do have energy uh, I have I have 830 energy right now, and for those of you who are free to play, and you're like, well, how did you get, well, how did you get the energy? Well, if you haven't already looked at this, you need to. Right here, this tab over the last two days, I've spent probably 600 energy, and I've probably gained a, a 1200 energy in return. Every one of these has an energy output, and it's it's random. Uh, this is, I believe this one's, yeah, it's not. But it, it, it is random in that, I mean, you have to win four star higher boots with HP as a primary stat, and some of them are, are just mind numbing. But the runs are costing you, uh, was it two or four energy early on, and you're getting reasonable energy in, re in return. And here I am with 830. I had 1500 when I started doing this, and I just kept ripping it up, and I kept doing all my turns and everything. And so I have 830 energy. I can level up stuff with it. So if you're looking for free energy right now, check out the challenges. Go to go to the uh, artifacts tab and do these artifact missions until you um, want to uninstall the game. Because that's where you're going to get a ton of energy. It's going to give you that option. Now's the time to get that energy so you can use it to level up some champions and uh, be competitive in the event. So uh, that's all I got. And just so we just so we know what we're talking about here, just so we're aware of what sort of uh, what sort of win we're going to get here. Lysandra, she's a high elf. She's a legendary support of the Spirit Affinity. Um, affinity, the, the Spirit Affinity Affinity. Anyway. Hey, one attacks all one enemy transfers, transfers all debuffs from this champion to the target. That can be cool if you're up against a heavy debuff team. It's like boom, not in my watch. Done. Uh, attacks one enemy fully depletes the target's turn meter. Basically, you make sure she goes first. You say, "Hey, uh, I beat you to the punch. I'm gonna hit you, so you don't get to take a turn." And then this one, which is the absolute ridiculous, places a 30% increased speed on all, all allies for two turns, fills a turn meter of all allies by 30%, and decreases the turn meter of all enemies by 30%. That turn meter manipulation is absolutely mind-boggling. That swing is the difference between winning and losing. It's why, even if you know, like I have an arbiter, she's relatively fast. If she goes first. It still doesn't guarantee anything because Lysandra can swoop in right after and speed cut me, boost hers up 30, boost mine down 30, and I'm in trouble. And if that weren't enough, she also has a 24% ally speed in all battles. Excuse me. 
So, um, yeah, definitely a champion worth getting. Uh, got a strong, a reasonable defense, reasonable HP. It's definitely a support. Uh, she's not going to hit like a truck. Although I, I think her A1 hits pretty good, but uh, you're going to build her specifically for it to be just really fast. And she's going to she's gonna trash wave. She's going to manipulate the absolute shit out of them. She's pretty good for the spider because of all the different manipulation with turn meters she can do. She's good. Obviously, she's she's god tier in the arena. So you've got some options there. You've got uh, you've got a great champion to try to go out for. So uh, well out, my friends. Do what you can. If you're spending lots of money, spend lots of money. This is probably the time to do it. I'm still not hot on the summon event, summon rush. I'm still on my main account. I think I have like 30 shards right now and I'm itching to get them so I can get more champions to level but honestly I just I don't think I can get to this level with what I've got so if I can't get a, a legendary tome then it's really not worth it to me and uh, yeah I'm just I'm still not hot on the summon but I am I am hot on this tournament I think you have to level up champions anyway it's the name of the game it's it, the grind is real so you might as well do it and try to get whatever you can on the tournament rewards and if you happen to be in a in a non whale group a, a newer player group like this then uh, give it give it your best and uh, have fun with it all right that's all I got for today uh, I want to thank you for joining in if you like this video please give me a thumbs up if you have any questions comments concerns leave them in the comment section down below Please hit subscribe if you want to hear all the latest ramblings I might have about this game. And most importantly, for the love of all that is holy, don't eat yellow snow. You know what? It's 2020. Do what you want. Eat yellow snow. But don't say I didn't warn you. Make sure you keep your stick on the ice. Have a good night.